Honorable Dr. Aris Chang, Minister Without Portfolio, and the Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation. Federal Republic of Germany Ambassador to Jamaica, His Excellency Joachim Schmilin. Our own Chairman, Senator Harbin Hill, Permanent Secretary and our Moderator, Mrs. Audrey Sewell, President of Deal Metering, Frank Goitzit, yes, and my good friend, well, recently good friend, Stefan Radar from Deal Metering. Ladies and gentlemen, well, first, members of the NWC staff, members of the Ministry of Economic Growth, members of the media, um, good morning. What we have witnessed here today is a demonstration of the NWC's commitment to transform through the use of available technology. And I just want to remind us that our Prime Minister always remind us that the public sector must transform. And NWC is very much within the public sector. We have heard him clearly and have made a bold step to ensure that the first area of transformation within the NWC is how we deal with our customers. And we always believe that a happy customer will always pay readily on time. And we have had our challenges in that regard. We know all too well how delicate the issue of billing is to our customers. And today mark the beginning of a journey which will create significant improvement to both our customers and the NWC as well. And in addition to that, we are actually satisfying a major aspect of our regulator requirement with the OUR. And you know, it's very important for us. So what are some of the objectives of this, for this strategic action? And I just like to list a few. What we're doing is improve metrology as it relates to how much do we measure or the accuracy of the measurement of the consumption of our customers. We are reducing commercial losses. And that is one aspect of NRW which you have heard so much, well, let's say non-revenue water. We tend to always get carried away in using the acronym NRW. So one of the things that for us is commercial losses is a major area in our NRW um, reduction pursuit. And we are endeavoring to ensure that we look at what we consider low hanging fruits. And so the revenue from improved metering is a prime resource to ensure that we can actually do the other activities such as pressure management, etc., etc. And we are really committed to improve the efficiency of the NWC. So today, this is a step forward in improving the customer experience and while doing business with the NWC. The improved use of technology in our utility is critical. And in, in other utilities, the water sector, right across the world, really, the water sector is usually the last to adopt new technologies. And so for us, we want to demonstrate our commitment to change that mindset. But I just want to share with you, if you can imagine being able to track your water consumption on a daily basis. Currently, you can't do that with the type of metering that we have. And being able to receive alarms if there is some changes in your consumption, or if you know what your threshold would be like on a monthly basis and you believe you have, and you are actually going beyond that, these meters are capable of providing that level of notification with even you calling the NWC or with even the NWC call you just by increasing the technology penetration. So what are the drivers and barriers in implementing what we consider smart water infrastructure technology? And this is what it actually is. It's really, rather than being more mechanical, we are using the available technology to ensure that we can give you a better experience as customers. Because today's day, what we want is experience. It's not just about getting the water in your tap. 
is how do you interact and what is the level of interaction. And that's what we are endeavoring to improve. So what are the drivers that motivated us to move in this direction? Again, reduction in our recovery of non-revenue water, improving billing efficiencies, and that is critical. Improve customer service and satisfaction, which speaks to the, the, the experience, the customer. And the chairman did, in fact, allude to the fact that the water meter, in our estimation, is the first point of customer service with any customer. In NWC, just about 75 to 80% of our complaints are related to bill complaints. It's not a necessary case that the billing are inaccurate. It's just that customers are not happy with the billing that they receive. And so they always complain. So we want to put that possibility in your hands. Rather than you making the complaints to us, you would have been well notified when there is an issue on, on your compound. So the level of complaints we are endeavoring to see reducing. And more importantly, we are endeavoring to ensure that we extend the life of the asset. Too often we recognize, based on the type of technology that we currently employ, and the type of water that we produce, and Jamaica has a very hard water, which simply means, in a technical way, after three years, your meter starts to slow down because it calcified, and the impellers start to get heavy so it doesn't spin as freely as as, as normal. So I'm just giving you a little bit of technical um, information. So you're actually being on the build after three years. And we are lucky if the meter lasts five years. And from there onwards, we then set an estimate which does not necessarily represent the true usage on a, on a property. We have to stop that because we cannot be efficient, we cannot be viable unless we improve our metering and billing as a utility. Obviously, when you embark on a new initiative, there will always be barriers. There will always be challenges. And one of them is the capital costs. We know moving to smart technology is not cheap, but it is the right thing to do. And we believe that it is a better investment to do now rather than postpone it to later on, because the opportunity or the benefit that we'll be losing, we can't recover it later on. And so this is the most opportune time for us to move in that direction. There's always going to be resistance to change. And we have had the complaints with the 50,000 meters that we have already installed. The chairman may mention of it. He did complain vehemently at one point. What has happened at my property? But we say our only security watchman to any property is the meter. And so we want to have a watchman at every property boundary, which means we want something to tell us accurately what is happening in terms of consumption, because we can't determine how did you use the water. We only want to know whatever is passing through that meter is accurately um, recorded. And, of course, there is always going to be the case when you're transforming insufficient technical capacity. And this is an opportunity within the NWC to improve, improve that. We know we have a lot more work to do with the implementation of this technology and critical to some of where we want to go with utilizing this technology is how we integrate our management information system so that we extract the maximum benefit as possible. So we expect to, get to, to see financial gains. And you would have heard even my own self has been contributing more by virtue of the accuracy that I'm now experiencing with my own meter at home. And it is expected that most customers will see an increase in their bills. I want to just emphasize and make it, you know, customers be aware, but there is an opportunity to ensure that you are monitoring and taking care of, of um, those increases. So we expect to see savings in water. 
we expect to see reduction in apparent losses as part of the financial gain, and we are expecting to see an increase in projected bill revenue for the NWC. So far, just by a little um, information, the 50,000 meters that we have installed in Kingston and St. Andrew has resulted in just about 16% increase in bill revenue. So the maths is easy. It's, it's simple. It takes us five years to replace a regular mechanical meter if we are really maintaining a level of accuracy and a mechanical meter is costing about 70 to 80 percent the cost of this meter without necessarily giving um, um, exact numbers. If this meter lasts at least 15 years, it simply means I would have to replace a mechanical meter three times rather than replacing one. So the economics is, 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 is quite straightforward, plus the additional revenue, because we are now moving revenue on a straight line rather than on a declining um, line based on age of meter. So we must recognize that this, is, this investment, we must consider our human capital and required skills. And importantly, with the expansion and improvement, we must consider how we redeploy some of our own resources in NWC. Ladies and gentlemen, and the public at large, and I've had, as I said before, we expect some increase in, in, in usage over previous month. And this we expect to vary between 10 to 15% after these meters have been installed. We therefore encourage you to pay close attention to your habits towards water usage. And we encourage you to check regularly for leaking faucets. We tend to ignore every drip until it becomes drop, 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 and then it starts to run. We encourage you to look at your external plumbing. The plumbing around your premises, you must inspect those. And you know, Frank was telling me about a situation that he had in Germany because of how they build in Germany, they build on a yearly basis. He had a leak for probably two years. So they changed his meter and they back bill him 700 euros, you know, for that back billing. Can you imagine? So, you know, we, one of the things that I know customers are very much um, avoiding, how do you ensure that your toilets, this is the greatest point of leakage and waste in any single home, your toilets, because nobody pays attention and it constantly runs. So we are encouraging you to look at those devices, water saving devices. And if necessary, I suggest that you conduct on premises leak detection. There are a number of entities that are in this space that are providing that service. NWC usually provide that service, but we believe it was a misplaced priority because our greatest problem is the problem in the network. And therefore, we have shift focus to ensure that we correct our problem in the network so as to improve our service delivery to you. As customers, you have a responsibility to ensure you monitor your plumbing. And as I said, it is no different from what we do on our own street, pipeline, etc. So what next on the horizon? Just installing these meters does not give you the full capacity of what the meter can do. And where, where next are we going? We're advanced in finalizing our arrangement for an automated meter reading arrangement, which simply means, folks, we are not going to be held hostage anymore by virtue of a gate being locked. Uh, bad dog on premises, the meter is covered because somebody decided to do construction and the first place to pour the construction material is on top of the meter. We have seen it all. We're not going to be constrained by those activities anymore. And so where we're going is to ensure that rather than having somebody walking by with a little paper or a little tablet to read, they're going to have a tablet, yes but there is no need to enter your premises. And the meter will automatically wake up 
and send a signal, we read. That's the efficiency that we're talking about that we want to extract. And later on, in phase two of the exercise, and this is what we're pursuing as well with DEAL, is, to, is the installation of an automated metering infrastructure. What that means for NWC. Rather than send somebody out, we establish, in a similar way as the mobile system, particular antennas around the, the corporate area, and the meters will automatically be speaking and sending in those information. So we expect to have this rolled out in Kingston and St. Andrew by the end of the fiscal year 2018, 2019, as part of um, the improvement strategy in delivering services. With that, we believe we should be able to move to a more effective interface with our customers by the development of a mobile app, which will allow you now to track your consumption, get your alarms, check on your bill, etc. That's where we, 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 we go in. And this is all going to be complementing some of what we are already doing. I spoke about smart water infrastructure technology. It is already taking place in NWC. We're doing a series of pressure management activities, which is also aiding in reducing NRW. And those pressure management points are now able to communicate to a central point. So we are able to know when something goes wrong in a particular area. We are able to know how much water is going in particular areas. And that will be improving right across the corporate area. We are also pursuing and should be completed in January or February of next year, a uh, supervisor control and data acquisition system, which really for short is SCADA, which allow us to monitor facilities and aspects within the network. So there's a lot that has been done, except that we want to speak about them when we have it fully up and running so you can be fully demonstrated. So, NWC, by embarking on this initiative, is aligning itself amongst those utilities globally who have adopted smart metering in its operation and has also demonstrated its leadership in the use of technology to disrupt how water utilities operate within the region. We have decided to procure, in the initial phase, 450,000 smart meters. And by my research, there is no other utility within the Caribbean that, has embar that is embarking on such an ambitious um, activity. And I believe it is a bold step. It is a major investment for the NWC. And incidentally, this investment is not through loans, etc. This investment will be done directly through the resources of the NWC. And so it is our commitment to invest what you pay as customers back into the system so we can improve our service delivery and create an improved experience for you because I believe that is what you deserve. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for coming and expect that you will pay your bills on time. And now that we are in the festive season, it is even more important to keep the taps flowing. And in so doing, I always encourage you, always, consider water first, because it is the one you, will, you can least do without. It is the most important next to air in our survival. And therefore, water is life. Let's maintain life for one and all. Have a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Thank you. Mm -hmm.